Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an F test in Stata. First, we will go through the steps manually in calculating the F statistic and determining significance. And then I'll show you how to do the same thing using the built-in test command. The data set that I have here is CEO Sal 2, which is one of the Wildridge data sets. This data set has the salary information for CEOs in 1990, as well as certain characteristics of those CEOs. We want to know what are the factors that contribute to a CEO's salary. I'm going to regress salary on several characteristics, the age of the CEO, the years with the company, years as CEO of the company, sales, and dummy variables for going to college and going to grad school. Previously, we've used t-tests to test for the significance of individual variables. That is the hypothesis that the effect of that variable on the outcome is zero. For example, if we wanted to test the hypothesis that age had no effect, we would look at this t-statistic right here. And since this is a relatively small t-statistic accompanied by a high p-value, we could not reject the hypothesis that age has no effect. Now, if we want to test multiple hypotheses of that type at the same time, so we might want to test the hypothesis that age, company tenure, and CEO tenure all collectively have no effect. We can't use the t-test anymore. We have to use a new test called the f-test. The assumption that a particular coefficient is zero is called an exclusion restriction. The basic t-test can deal with one exclusion restriction at a time. With the f-test, we can choose to exclude multiple variables. To test the hypothesis that age and both tenure variables all have coefficients of zero, we're going to need to run what we call the restricted model. It's called the restricted model because we have assumed that those variables are gone. To run this model, we simply regress salary on all of the other variables. So we eliminate age, company tenure, CEO tenure, and leave in just sales, college, and grad. What the F-test does is compares the predictive power of the restricted model with the predictive power of the unrestricted model. That's the original model. The way that we do this is by constructing the F-statistic. The numerator of the F-statistic is the difference in the two residual sum of squares from each regression. We take the restricted RSS, and this is always going to be the bigger number of the two, and then subtract the RSS from the unrestricted model, and then divide that by the total number of restrictions. In this case, that is three. We restricted out age, company tenure, and CEO tenure. This is the numerator of the F statistic. Now the denominator of the F statistic is simply the unrestricted RSS. So that's the RSS from the original model divided by the degrees of freedom in that model. So that's the number of observations, 177 minus K plus one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, variables plus a constant is seven, so the degrees of freedom is 170. To get the F statistic, we simply divide these two numbers. We get 2.22. Now, what exactly does this mean? Well, for this number to have any meaning at all, we need to know what the F distribution looks like. 
The first way that we can decide whether this means rejection or not is by calculating critical values. The way that we do this is with the function inverse f tail or INV capital F tail. And this is case sensitive, you do need to yeah, use the capital F. Now we need to tell Stata what the two different degrees of freedom here are, what we call Q and N minus K minus one. So Q is the number of restrictions, that's the three, and the degrees of freedom from the unrestricted model is 170. And now finally, what is the desired significance level? Let's start with 90% confidence, so we'll put 0.1. We get a critical value of 2.116. Our F stat is bigger than that, so we can reject this with 90% degree of support. Let's keep going. Do the same thing for 95%. And here we have a critical value bigger than the F statistic, so we cannot reject with 95% degree of support. Of course, the other way that we can go about this is by calculating the p-value. And to do that, we use the f-tail function. Again, this is case sensitive. We need the same piece of information. But now we need to give it our F statistic that we calculated. So I'm going to paste that right here. And what we get is about 8.7%. And as we expected, that lies between 5 and 10%. We can verify this by using Stata's built in test command. To do this, we're going to need to run the original unrestricted model again. The reason for this is that the test command is tied to the last regression you ran. The last regression we ran was actually the restricted model, so this is not going to work. So we're going to run this e regression again. Now test and just list the variables that you want to restrict. So age, company tenure, CEO tenure, and what do we get? Well, the F statistic agrees with what we calculated before, as well as the P value. The last thing I want to talk about in this video is the F test for overall significance. This is essentially the strongest F test that you can do. Null hypothesis in the overall significance test is that all of the explanatory variables have coefficients of zero. The restricted model in this test is simply regress salary with no explanatory variables, just a constant. What we get is a regression with an R squared of zero because there are no explanatory variables. We, we could go about the exact same procedure with the RSS in the restricted model being right here. A convenient thing is that Stata will actually give us this F statistic in the original regression output. And that's this one right here. This is the F statistic for the test for overall significance. That's 6.25 with a p-value of very, very close to zero. What this tells us is that we can be quite confident that something in our regression is explaining salary. We could confirm this by running the unrestricted model again, and then running the test on age and all of the other variables. And what we get is the exact same F statistic as we do in the table. That's all I have to say for right now about executing the F test in Stata. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.